What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 37 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're just trying to see which function of our answer choices has the same slope as the linear function graphed below. Now to do a question like this, we'll need to know how to look at a graph and find the slope of the line that is drawn on it. So let's go ahead and do that. And I know there are several ways to think about slope, but on a graph, I like to think of slope as... Let me center this a little bit. How far up or down we're going as we're going right. And then I'll also remind myself that in in the in a function that looks like y equals something x plus something, my slope, also known as m, no idea how they got that letter, but my slope is going to be the coefficient of x, the number that's attached to x. All right, so let's go ahead and pick a couple points and try to count this, uh, count up our slopes. Uh, that's a good one, and that's a good one. So from here, I can already see that as I'm going right, I'm going down, which means my slope is going to be negative. And now I can see that I'm going right 4 and down 1. So my slope is actually going to be negative 1 fourth. Finding the slope was half the problem. Now I have to look at my answer choices and see which one actually matches that slope. So let me zoom in on this. Now I'm just seeing which of my functions has a slope of negative 1 fourth. And I'm just looking for a number attached to x. So for choice A, I see that 4 is attached to x. That's not what we're looking for. I see that 1 fourth is attached to x. OK, this is negative 1 fourth. So this could be right. I'll put a dot by it. I look at choice C and I see minus 4, that's another way of saying that my slope is negative 4, because we can think of this as plus negative 4, but either way, it's not the negative 1 fourth that I'm looking for, and I look at choice D, here we go. I think this is what I'm looking for, because even though it's obscured a little bit by the watermark, I see that we're subtracting 1 fourth x, which is the same thing as adding negative 1 fourth x, and I was looking for a slope of negative 1 fourth, or a way to find negative one-fourth attached to my x variable. So even though we thought it might be b, we're going to have to knock out b and pick d as our final answer.